All right, I want to make a quick video here. I have these Oxford heated grips. I've had them for about two, three years, maybe even four years. I love them. They're super hot um, in the winter and cold mornings and stuff like that. But I don't know if you see this. They are pretty deteriorated and also sticky. But new grips are very, you know, 100 bucks, and I don't really want to spend that. You can see this side also pretty bad. I don't know if it's from sweat or from... Uh, chemicals on my hands like from working on cars or gloves or what the deal is but they're gone so i'm gonna buy new ones so what i found was this what this is is this is fishing rod grip tape um it's heat shrink so this is 45 millimeter uh id uh, because these are about inch and a half i measured them i'll double check so what i'm gonna do is slide these grip tape over just like that, cut it off and then shrink it down. And that should give me some better grips that the heat will still go through. And uh, only about eight bucks. So I'm gonna try this, see how this works. If it doesn't work, I'll tear it out and buy new grips anyway. But I'm gonna give this a shot. I've seen a couple people do it and uh, I think it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna measure the ID or the OD of the grips first, even with them worn down. Um, I'm sure this is 45 millimeter, so I'll cut some pieces and we'll go from there. All right, so I got my first piece cut. You can see, gonna slide it in just like that and heat shrink it down. Did want to show you, these are the Cruiser, Oxford grip cruisers. Um, the caliper, the battery's dead, but you can see just over 40 millimeters, so that's why I bought 45. Now, Pittsburgh caliper, so plus or minus like three, cal three millimeters, but... 45 fits good, plenty of room. Um, so I think I'm just gonna try and find a place where I like it sitting, kind of like that. Um, grab the heat gun. And we're gonna try and heat shrink this. Ooh, that worked great. Okay, so there's a little bit of a line still on the bottom. But this top line's completely gone. So I'm going to clean this up and uh, take that bottom line out a little bit. But that looks awesome. I love that. Way better. Not sticky. This might be a win right here. We'll see how long it lasts. Actually, I'll kick the heated grips on. See if they'll heat themselves. Um... All right, so I'll finish heat shrinking these and jump back with you. Okay, so just finished up both of them. I think they turned out awesome. Way better. Not sticky at all. You still get heat. I have the heat on. or had the heat on. Still feel heat through them. No slide. Not loose at all. I'm pretty impressed for $8 worth of material. Looks okay. Looks pretty cool. Good enough for me. If I have to change them next summer, that's still better than buying a whole new set of grips. So we'll see how they go. But for now, I'm calling this a win. How to fix Oxford heater grips for $8, $12, whatever it is. Thanks for watching.